How y'all doing tonight? Okay, I'm going to hit you with some poetry real quick. Well, maybe not that quick. This one's called Snapshots of You. Wiping the ink-stained literary lens of my camera to preserve you in a word photograph of possibilities. And snap! Eyes blue, depth like an abyss, I stand on the edge, wondering if surrounding whiteness of the clouds will catch me if I allow myself to take the tempting plunge. And snap! Lips, both petulant and inviting, smiling, parting only slightly to allow a kiss, to voice a dismissal, to suggest things I dare not think of. And snap! Legs, playfully pulling at my eyes as I listen to your words, crossed beneath you, then pulled to your shin as we play with phrases childlike in our verbal explorations. And snap! A hand, an educated hand, brushing my hair from my eyes and lifting my chin to make contact. But what kind of contact? And once made, can it be undone or forgotten? And snap! Libation of the soul, without the lime, sour, salt, bitter taste that expectedly accompanies such endeavors, I could slam down shots of you until drunk on the sweetness. Okay, I got another one for you. This one is called, if I can get to the right place, this one is called Now What? Now what? Now that I've felt your smile, smelled your smell, eyed your eyes, now what? Now that I hear your voice in my mind across the city and from your lips, now that I've heard you say my name, sigh my name, moan my name, now that I've felt you, tasted you, sated you, now what? Ignore the signs, the cliffs ahead, the inevitable wall in our path. We're about to collide. You release my hand, rest your head against my chest, caress my arm, and fully inhabiting the moment, I don't notice you've already released my seatbelt. I thought we were moving slowly, connecting through flashes of lightning. We've passed through the stop motion skills to time lapse torrents. I see the red flags in the rearview mirror. A moment ago, they seemed only background noise, easily ignored. The wall ahead looms large in the windshield, our legs entwined to keep my foot on the gas. Now what? I got one more. This one is called Scategorical Denial. It's one of those nights again. You know the kind, those nights where nothing seems to satisfy and even the crickets outside seem to criticize. Chirping dissatisfied chirps of incoherent derision. Cats in the alley meowing obsequious meows at the passersby, seeking a placating glance to run from, only to look back with hissing invective and copper-eyed annoyance. Those munchy having nights when you pace the floor unable to decide on in or out. Unable to see the pros or cons of bothering to list the pros or cons. Pro-choice con artists are out there somewhere. Professional convicts are out there too. Pro-lifers con the willing out of considerable amounts of money while I consider my next project and protect my investments from consequences I only once protractedly considered. I'm hungry for satisfaction. The chemical reaction of a lover's kiss, the continued attraction of a speeding pulse, seeking to rise to previously unimagined heights and fall slowly within a long embrace and a glow of remembrance. That mountains can be scaled more than once, but better first to sleep. The rested climb the highest peaks. Clip, tap, patter, patter, click. Patter, 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 click, tap. Click, tap, patter, patter, click. Patter, click, patter, click, tap, tap. Click, tap, patter, patter, click. Patter, 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 click, tap, tap. Rhythms in the ramblings. The sound of my scatological denial. My exclusive commitment to the monogamy of loneliness. Thank you. (laughs) 